Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? Well, about two months ago, my boat motor quit working. Came out here to check it out before we went on a fishing trip and it wouldn't start. It tried to start a couple of times and after that, no more start. It is a 15 horsepower Mercury Mariner 96 model. Good little motor. Some people don't like them, but it's been good to us. We just bought it about six months ago, boat, motor, and trailer for 900 bucks. Can't beat that. Now, anyway, the reason I'm making this video, because I couldn't find no videos on YouTube for this model motor on troubleshooting. It. So, I'm on a I wish I would have filmed it while I was working on it, but I was working on it when it was almost dark, so <laughs> wouldn't have done no good. But uh, I'm on. I'm gonna go over what I did and how I troubleshooted everything, and, uh, and then there'll be a video out there on this motor. And if anybody has any questions, I can help them out. So y'all stick around and. Uh, We'll talk about this motor a little more. Well, I'm back, everybody. We're going to talk about this boat motor a little bit. First thing you have to do when you're working on one of these is go download the ignition system specs for this motor. That's what I did, but I still didn't know what I was doing. So uh, my son-in-law's stepdad told me, well, it's the CDI box. You ain't getting a spark. It's the CDI box. And I said, okay. So I ordered one off of Amazon, put it on, tried to crank it. It wouldn't crank. But not only that, the CDI box didn't match this CDI box to bolt up against the motor. This is your CDI box right here. This little part here, and that controls everything, spark and and the uh, electrical that goes to everywhere. Anyway, this is a troubleshooting for stators and triggers. So you look on here and you find your stator wires, which is these wires are the stator wires. That, can you get a close in? That's your stator wires down here at the bottom. You just unplug them and you go by your sheet here and ohm it out to see and see what you get. And that gives you how much ohms it's supposed to be and everything else on your sheet here. So I checked the stator out. It was good. So I jumped to the uh coils here check them out the coils were good so it was one of two things the trigger underneath here in this head or this one so I own the trigger out it was bad so when I found out it was bad I wasn't going to order no more parts from Amazon or nowhere else I went to one of my local mercury dealers and this old man on his website it said for do-it-yourselfers come here to get parts <laughs> so I went up there and sure enough he had parts for this 96 model in stock I thought I was gonna have to order them but he had them in stock so uh, here's the old trigger that's what it looks like that's the old trigger and uh, I checked it after I got it off and it still wasn't homing out. So I put that new one in and fired up the first pull. And it still does. Y'all watch this. I know uh, I don't have it hooked up with water, but you can fire it up as long as you cut it right back off. Well, 
that's all I got to say about the ordeal. So now, the reason I did this to try to help other people out that has this same motor and show them how to troubleshoot it, because I didn't know nothing about this. Only thing I ever done to a boat motor is change out the water pump, which ain't that big a deal. But trying to troubleshoot your electrical firing, I didn't know nothing about, so. That's all you have to do is ohm everything out. Go buy the paperwork that you download for your boat motor. And uh, that's it. So, if y'all have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you the best as best I can. So, uh, y'all be sure to subscribe, ring the bell for more videos from uh, Charlie and Brandy. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye, y'all. Bye, Adam. Say bye. Say we love y'all.